In this video, I'm going to share with you two of the best new Blender add-ons that you probably didn't know about. So without further ado, let's get started. Creating destruction simulations in Blender is known to be hard and time-consuming. And here comes the role of the new add-on, Kaboom. Kaboom is a Blender add-on that helps you create spectacular destruction animations. And that's using six simple steps. Step one is Fracture where you will fracture your model with simplified processes and you can import your pre-fractured models as well. Step 2 is Blast and Crumble. You now will animate the dynamic triggering, the process is dry, adjust and try again. And that's all in real time until you are satisfied with the result. You can create crumbling effects and explosions. Step 3 is Bake. When it's time to bake your dynamic animation to keyframes, then that's through one click. Step 4 is Rough Cuts Basic fracturing gives flat faces cuts which is necessary for dynamic simulation. The creators have built the tool to create convincing rough cuts to add realism to your animation which allow you to have settings that you can adjust in real time. Step 5 is Debris Particles debris are generated on moving parts only. This step adds a lot of detail to your animation the default settings looks very well, but you can customize everything. By default, the particles mesh comes from a collection, but you can add your own meshes to edit particle dynamics, and that's simply by selecting any of the debris particle system, customizing the settings, and hitting the deploy button, and that to apply your setting to all other debris particle systems. This workflow lets you control with native Blender functionalities, so you don't have to learn a brand new process to use it. Step 6 is Smoke. The add-on offers a one-click process for generating emitter particles and another to create the smoke domain, and here you go. The default settings looks very nice. You can customize everything here too, depending if you want smoke trails behind the shrunks or global smoke blast. And you can use the same process that you use for the debris. Edit one particle settings, then deploy. You can edit fluid settings too, then deploy it to others in one click. Also, you can bake your smoke and cache it, then render it. The second add-on we're going to talk about is a big time saver if you are working on a 3D scene, including streets. Next Street is an add-on that offers high quality optimized and procedural streets. Also, it is offering the ability to customize it to what fits your scene. The add-on offers a lot of parameters to control. The created street and sidewalk width parameter. This factor controls how many ways are in the street and the width of the sidewalk. You can add lights and modify their spacing, shift, scale, power of light and color of light, etc. And you can add wetness on street, sidewalk and brick line. And for that, you can adjust the height and scale of the wetness. You can add trees to the sidewalk and control them. And you can add different services with adjustable parameters to the sidewalk. You can add cars and change their speed and type. Also, you have the ability to add bus stops and benches on the sidewalk and change their spacing, shift, scale, etc. Also, you can add different types of signs on the sidewalk which you can change its material. Also, you can add imperfections to the street to add an extra bit of realism to your scene. Now, if you want to check out these add-ons, links are in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about these add-ons. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.